You've probably eaten Hormel pepperoni before, right? Well, if your answer is no, it's probably not the worst thing. It's can't be good for you. And we all know Del Monte, it's a fruit and vegetable company, but which stock is better? Let's find out. Now this really cool template that you're looking at was designed by me and it is 100% free. I'm gonna show you where to get it. And unlike the other content creators, I don't say, hey, leave a comment that says free or template and I'll tell you where you can get it. So then I have your email and I can sell you shit later. You are going to go right here and you're gonna click on the menu, which is right here, and you will get all of these resources. They're totally free. Now I'm using the fundamental analysis stock fight template. And if you're saying, whoa, whoa, I don't know where to find all this stuff. Luckily for you, there is a YouTube video right there that'll explain it. But I've already done it for Hormel and Del Monte. You can see their stock prices here. And you can see that over the last one, five and 10 years, neither one of these stocks is doing all that well, except that Del Monte is down 14, 22 and 28% in the last one, five and 10 years, not great. They are both billion dollar corporations, but Hormel is considerably larger. They both offer dividends that are over 3%, but look at the five year dividend growth between these two companies. Del Monte is way higher five year dividend growth. As for their price to earnings ratio, the industry average is 16.76 times. And you can see that Hormel is slightly overvalued, whereas Del Monte is slightly under, actually considerably undervalued because it's undervalued doesn't guarantee it's going to go up. It's just one of the many metrics you want to look at. And while Del Monte's revenue is pretty consistent in the four billions, Hormel just continues to grow, although they did have a little pullback in 2023. Hormel's net income is almost $800 million, whereas Del Monte's is negative 11 million. And it wasn't negative just last year. So that's a little bit of a red flag. Both companies have a lot of total assets, although Hormel has way more. Both companies have a significant amount of debt, but they're also paying it down. And their cash and investments, again, Hormel has way more cash and investments than Del Monte. They also have way more free cash flow than Del Monte, but Del Monte has a one-year price target up 42%, whereas Hormel is only up around 4.89%, according to analyst projections for the next 12 months. Now I'm all the way up here. Hello, you can take a screenshot of this so you can study this, do your own research and determine which one is best for you and your portfolio. And most importantly, don't forget to smash that follow. All right, see you later.